In this video, we're going to look at audio transcription with AI. You may choose to use this with clinical voice notes or clinical videos where you need to transcribe audio into text. First method, Google Collaboratory. Adding a new Google Collab file. Open Google Drive. Click on New, then More, Connect More Apps. In the search box, type Collab. This is the one you're looking for, Collaboratory. Click Install. At this point, you will go through a series of steps to authorize, which is not shown here. Renaming the file. Make sure to give your file a proper name. Something like Transcribe Tool. Changing the runtime type. Click on Runtime, then Change Runtime Type. Choose T4 GPU. Click Save. Installing Whisper. In the description of this video, you will find the following lines of code. Copy and paste this code. Insert it and click Run. Check the bottom of your screen for progress. Transcribe. Drag and drop your video or audio file to this section to the left. Click on code, then insert the following line of code. Remember to include the file extension like mp4 or mp3 as well, otherwise this will not work. If you are unsure about the file name, go to the panel to the left. This file's name is best practice. Click Run. You will see this status bar. Allow some time for it to complete. And there you go. To download the transcription, go to the panel to the left. Click Refresh. Now click on the three dots and download. You can download all three files. TSV, VTT and TXT. Second method, a program called Buzz. Go to this website, which is also in the description of this video. Download the .exe file. Install this program. Installing models. Once you have it installed, it will look like this. Go to preferences and download the required models. The medium model works best. However, you can also try some of the others. When you have selected the model that you want, click download. Then click OK. Transcribe. To add a file that you want to transcribe, click the plus button. Add the file and then you will see this menu. Select the media model. At this point you can decide if you want to translate or transcribe. You can also select a language. Make sure you select all three of these tick boxes, TSV, VTT and TXT. The transcription documents will be placed in the same location as the original file. So which method is best? For everyday use I would probably go for the second method. Just because it's more user friendly. Other tips. If you convert to MP3 before transcribing, the process of transcription may be faster. You can do this using VLC player. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>